Our Rick Salinger gives us a rare tour inside the command center NORAD and NORTHCOM in Colorado Springs. It is a potential doomsday scenario. Their job to nip it in the bud. Open line. Beneath the ground at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado Springs is the operations center for NORAD and NORTHCOM. We protect the homeland. From right here. We protect the homeland from here. We got a rare look at how the U.S. is being protected. On the wall, they monitor air traffic for internal threats. From abroad, the eyes are on North Korea. Right here in Colorado, the focus of this joint U.S.-Canadian operation is to detect and track when the rogue nation fires a missile. Over here is the intelligence watch. And they're finding out what's, you know, what, what, what's going on around the world, you know, what's, what's, um, what's making us nervous. These days, there is plenty to be nervous about. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has threatened the U.S. with nuclear destruction and backing the rhetoric up with more frequent test launches. Colorado plays a very important role in the world of missile warning. If NORAD detects a missile launch threatening the U.S. or its troops abroad, the next step goes to the Northern Command, right here for possible interception. That is done by launching an anti-ballistic missile. At a closing speed of 36,000 miles per hour, it must strike the incoming projectile in space before it can reach its target. We, we, we liken it to uh, hitting a bullet with a bullet. NORTHCOM Deputy Steve Allen describes a success like using a sniper weapon to strike a bullet thousands of miles away. Do you feel confident we can shoot down a North Korean missile? Oh, very confident. In a significant test this past May, the system successfully knocked out a mock nuclear armed missile launched from the Pacific. There was quite the applause, a lot of cheering going on. And no doubt also inside Cheyenne Mountain, now used as a backup. North Korea's boast about being able to hit the United States is being taken very seriously. We stand ready to protect America 24-7, uh, 365. For the sake of the future, there is no room for air. In Colorado Springs, Rick Salinger, CBS 4 News.